Welcome back, everybody, to another episode here. I'm Jesse. This is uh, on Three Prong Gaming. Yeah, so in today's episode, we're just going to round out and finish off what we started in the last episode. Um, mainly, we're going to put the same functionality into our proxy hut so we can get the workers that come from there. And we're going to fix a couple minor mistakes. Um, so, yeah, sit back, relax, load up your editor, grab a cup of coffee, and let's get this thing going. Well, really, the only mistake that there was, I mean, there was a couple. Towards the end of the last episode, um, I pointed out how the names were centering instead of justifying off to the left. Um, if you come over here to the button field, the reason why I was doing that was take the text and come over here and make sure, I'd, ar I'd already said this, but make sure it, it was right here. Go ahead and select there on the horizontal alignment to the left and it should all line up on the left just fine. All right, and the other mistake, um, well, the actual mistake was in when we created the create workforce function um, and we hooked this up, this originally, when I, when I set this up uh, and put this new get workforce in here with the list of workers, um, I didn't hook it back up into here. So um, make sure you do that because otherwise uh, it won't do the construction. It won't uh, process the construction. The workers will go in and, and everything else. So make sure that we hook that back up into here. I just totally missed it when I did it. So yeah, make sure that's done. That's in the construction proxy BP. All right, so with that all fixed, let's see, go back into, what do we need to do? Let's go into the uh, building HUD. And this is gonna be pretty easy. I'm gonna skip over most of this because, well, I did it in the last episode, so it's pretty repetitive. But if we go over here to the vertical box that houses everything here that for the names and select it, right click and do a copy, come over here to the proxy HUD, right click on canvas panel and let's paste it right in there and you'll see there it is. Select it and let's go ahead and move it down. Uh, You'll have to probably line it up however you want to do it. Um, but for me right now for testing everything, it'll just be good right there. Um, this isn't about making it pretty. It's all about prototyping and getting all the functionality in. All right. So just like we did in the other one, we need to go into uh, the graph here and set up the same functionality as we had last time. So right click, let's do a tick. And again, I'm going to skip over most of this. I'm just going to get it going right here and drop in a couple branches like so. Right click, get, come on, I said right click, get is enabled. Uh, there it is right there. Plug that into the first one. We only want to run this if it's enabled. And if it is enabled, we need to do another check. Of course, we could probably just run an and off of this one uh, because both of them have to be true. But take the four names that conveniently came in when we copied and pasted and get children account. And let's go ahead and make sure that this is not equal to. Grab our proxy reference. Let's get it. Drag that in here. Get workforce. And because this is a float going into an integer, because what comes off of the count is an integer, it will automatically add a truncate, which is fine because our number's never, always gonna be a whole number anyways. We're never gonna have a half of an employee in there. Uh, we just did that because a float was more convenient for the other functions. All right, plug this in, create a new function, call it set name fields. And we don't need any inputs for that. Just take that, oops back out here to the event graph, take that, drop that in here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and skip over the rest of this. So just do this exactly like we did in the last one. The only difference is in place of the building uh, reference, building HUD reference, we wanna use the proxy reference. All right, so uh, yeah, go ahead and take care of that and we'll be right back. All right, so we got it all hooked back up here, or not back up, but we got it all hooked up here. Um, one thing I meant to mention at the beginning, if I sound a little bit off in the last episode, I do apologize. 
I usually make my recordings when I'm at home all by myself and the family's gone. And uh, yeah, my wife came home at about uh, 13 minutes into the video and it just gets distracting. Um, you know, the dog gets excited when somebody else is home and wants to play. And, and yeah, so I, I was probably a little bit off in that one. And if so, I do apologize. But uh, yeah, everybody's in bed right now. So uh, yeah, I can go ahead and do this without any distractions. So we got this all hooked up. Everything works good. So if we push play, we get them in here, drop in a couple of NPC, check it. And then boom, we follow them and there they go. So let's go ahead and check this one now. There is one thing still that we've got to do to this in order to get it working right. Um, but we've got the employees here. Again, we select them from the construction building and we get them. Come in here, we get the names. Let's see them. Oh, they're going to go to sleep. One thing you're going to notice here that they're in the building doesn't matter just even the construction proxy. When they're inside the building, you can't select them. It's only when they're outside of the building. Oops, it's only when they're outside of the building that you can select them. And there's a reason for that, obviously. Otherwise, it wouldn't do it. If we go into, um, I'm going to push Control S and save this all real quick, just in case I've had disasters happen before. Let's go into Blueprints, AI, grab the MPC blueprint and in the event graph down here at display HUD we've got it set to where it only displays the HUD if we are not hidden okay so we need to fix that um, there's probably a couple ways that you can do that um, and the reason why we did this so we don't select them when they're hidden is because remember they're still when they go in and they hit the entrance right here at the front that's still where they're at. They don't actually go anywhere. So with them being invisible, you could still technically select them um, when they're hidden. And we didn't want to do that. So uh, what we want to do, but we still want to select them from the list and the name. So the way that we're doing this, where is that here? NPC. The way we're doing this, this is actually a, an event dispatcher. If you come back up here into the event begin play, all of our display HUD calls are coming from an event dispatcher called HUD request, which is coming from the camera controller reference. So let me close out. We don't need that one anymore. We could probably close the building HUD, clean up a couple tabs here. So if we come out here and go into blueprints, camera pawn controller, you'll see down here at the event dispatcher, we got HUD request, right? So what we need to do is we need to select that and Let's see, do we have that? Where is that on here? Button events. Where do we call that at? Where do we call that at? Camera pan, zoom, edge movement. Hmm. I know we call that in here somewhere. Uh, there it is right there. On left mouse button right here, we call HUD request. We need to define that because what we need to do actually is with the HUD request event dispatcher, we need to create a new input and let's call this one bypass, right? We'll leave it as a Boolean. Um, this way, if this is checked as it comes through, we'll be able to bypass it. Okay, so um, we're gonna get some problems here. Um, we're going to actually have to take and drop. See, it says new parameter. It didn't update to say bypass. Pull this out. Let's get a new call for it. Oh, we didn't compile it. Let's go ahead and compile it first. We're going to get a ton of errors everywhere, um, but we will fix that. Let's go ahead and drag out HUD request. New call. There it goes. Now it says uh, bypass on it. Just hook up the execution and the hit actor. Delete the old one. Okay. And now this one should compile, but we're going to get errors everywhere else we call them. It'll compile fine in here. But if we were to try to play this, it's going to give us a list of where all the errors are at because we changed that. So the NPC, building master, and construction proxy. No, we don't want to run. We just did that so it'll show us exactly where it's, the errors are at. So let's go to the NPC BP, right? Right here, it's telling you error, display HUD. And it's an error because 
our display HUD doesn't match. It doesn't have the same signature as the event dispatcher. So grab our display HUD, click new, type in bypass and compile it. And now the signature should match up. Okay. So now what we're going to do with this, let's go ahead and just kind of move this around a little bit. We need to take this if we're not hidden or bypass. So in other words, if bypass is true or we're not hidden is true, plug that in there. Okay. So that's what we're going to check for that. Let's move this around a little bit. Give us some space, a little easier to read. Okay. And that's pretty much all we're going to have to do. We still got to go fix these other ones, but that's what we got to do now. So now if we select bypass, when we do this, compile it and save it. See, so this one's good. So construction proxy, we need to open that back up because apparently I closed it. Construction proxy. Okay. In the event graph, we need to find display HUD. Same thing here, new bypass, but we're not going to do anything with the bypass here because there's no reason for us to use it. And that's ultimately all we'd used it for was for that one spot. So in the uh, NPC, and you may need it in the future. It just depends on how you, how things end up going. But right at this point, we don't need it. But it's good to have it here, I guess. By pass, hit enter, compile it, and save it. Now, everything should work as expected. So let's go ahead and hit play. No errors. Come out here. Let's drop in a couple. We'll drop in a construction site just because so we can test everything here, right? So make sure this still works. They're not in the building. We can select them and there they go. Okay. Wait for them to come up here. There we go. And that didn't work again. Oh, what happened? Let's see. Why did that not work? See, you try to make it so it works and it's not calling it. Did we run that? Oh, because we're not telling it to bypass. So what we need to do now, that's why we need to go into the proxy. We need to actually do this on, let's see, where do we implement that at? Um, when we call display HUD, um, where is it? All right. So sorry about that. I forgot where I had made it bypass here, um, where we called it from. So back out here, button field, go into the event graph and on click, we have display HUD right there. So select that. So that way now when it displays the HUD of the, that's on the MPC, it's going to bypass true right there. Always got to be something lately. It just seems I can't have a straight episode anymore, can it? All right. So now let's just go ahead and drop in a few. And it's hard to tell because they jump out so quick. So let's just wait for them to get to the, to the uh, construction office. Right. There they are. Jump in there and we can select them from inside the building while they are hidden. Perfect. So that's what we wanted to do, but you can't select them out here. That was the thing. See, cause they're hidden right here. Yeah. See, so we can't select them. Same thing with right here. What do they disappear at? So because we still have a setup right there, we can't select them while they're hidden on the outside of the building. Perfect. And that's, that's it. That's for that function right there. Um, yeah. Broke away from the AI. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, yeah, a little bit off, but, uh, you know, I just don't seem to be on my game lately, but hopefully you guys are still learning something with this. And I'm trying to think of really what's next. I'm, maybe we'll do a little bit more with this. I'm almost thinking maybe we'll do, uh, let's open it up here. Maybe not that one. Where is it at? Uh, proxy. Sure. That's for, no, not the proxy HUDs. That's what I wanted. Maybe what we'll do is, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll do an avatar or something. So it'll be like an avatar next to their name or maybe 
their picture will be their avatar or, or instead of having their name as a button, the button will be like an avatar of them or something. Um, I don't know, maybe something like that, or maybe we'll do like little quotes or something. So that way when we're on the, uh, let's see, where is it on the NPC HUD, when it shows their information here, maybe we'll just do like a little section here. We'll do a bunch of random quotes or something like, you know, when they're tired, um, it'll say on there, oh boy, I wish I could find a bed or, you know, oh, I need to go home or I sure am tired. You know, just a bunch of random different things they could say for different parts of it. And I don't know. I, I'm just trying to break it away from the AI a little bit for you guys because I know it gets a little monotonous. And uh, um, yeah, I figure this this uh, particular tutorial with uh, uh, the uh, UIs, getting them all set up and something a little bit different as well as there's some pretty cool stuff to learn right there with uh, how we add the child blueprints and or child widgets into another widget and and uh, dynamically have it change so yeah anyways i've rambled enough we're 16 17 minutes into this so i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please do me a favor go down and hit that like button it helps me out a ton if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe while you're down there liking it and yeah until next time peace